Yo, what's up guys here, GTA Puffs here, and welcome back to another brand new GTA video. In today's video, we're going to be covering everything or all the information we know from the start and the beginning of this GTA Trilogy Remastered games that are going to be coming out in the fall of 2021. Again, what we got from sources just a couple days ago, Grand Theft Auto 3, Grand Theft Auto Vice City, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, getting remastered or remake again nothing confirmed by rockstar games just yet all we know from an article we got just a couple days ago now i saw this post on actually the gta trilogy uh subreddit page again it, it was just made just a couple days ago so again i will leave a link to all the information that i'm getting today for this video again link down in the description down below but again a guy named outlaw author made this uh you know subreddit article and it's basically everything that we know from the beginning of when this whole trilogy thing came alive now one thing that i just want to disclaim for today's video none of this information is going to be from you know the rockstar data miners out there or the rockstar insiders like tes funds 2 and 2295 and mach 1 bud again we know them they have been posting stuff about this trilogy in you know all social media forums like the gta forums and twitter and so on but again none of this information is coming from them today so again all this trilogy stuff or you know when people thought maybe this thing would actually be coming alive and be real this actually started around 2019 on october 11th when ruffian games started working from rockstar and basically ruffian games started hiring for unspecific titles that they were working on with slash for rockstar games this was the earliest job listing which mentions them working for Rockstar, and remember, uh, they posted a Twitter uh, tweet that said we're hiring, and they were looking for engineers to work on Pacific titles for at Rockstar Games. So again, that got a little suspicious. Again, we didn't know what they were working on. We just know that before Rockstar purchased them, Ruffian Games had worked on other expanded and enhanced titles themselves. Uh, remastering games and you know so on they did stuff like the halo master chief collection and other games like this so again it's basically got a little bit you know suspicious and basically that's when ruffian games actually uh rockstar games actually bought them out and this actually is called rockstar dundee now and they said that they were going to actually be specializing in you know remastered games but we didn't know what those games were going to be looking like and also it got back in 2019 on september uh 20th when ruffian games was hiring for remastering legend g ui systems across multiple platforms and as you can see this is what they were actually you know hiring it says ruffian games is looking for a ui engineer with generalizing experience in a multiplayer cross games developed for pc xbox one playstation 4 and future platforms they say this is a position that involves creation of new front end ui and game gameplay and remastering the legendary ui systems across multiple platforms and they said the responsibilities were working closely with senior engineers and game designers to effectively design and implement new ui features as well as maintain and extend legendary ui systems so basically this was uh on the wayback machine link and basically this was just a job listing again roughing games needed people to work on it for remastering these types of games and basically then from there the next year 2021 february 9th the parent company take two interactive had their conference call statement and this was actually coming from the chairman and chief executive officer straw selnick and this is when the hype started to form and people started to notice that rockstar is actually probably working on a gta trilogy and basically a guy named Eric Handler asked Strauss Zelnick about these, you know, GTA trilogies and if this is actually some kind of thing that they are actually in the making. And Strauss Zelnick went on to say, It's a great question, encouraging question. 
I'm kind of inclined to leave it in more as a statement than a question. And any questions or any updates on our release schedule will come from Rockstar. So basically what Strauss Zelnick and the Take-Two interactive team had said before. Again, anything new is going to be coming from Rockstar Games. And he just left it there. But sort of in a statement said, we're going to leave it more than a statement than of a question. So making it people to believe that this thing is actually, you know, true. And they all actually said how the Ruffian team is thrilled to work with Rockstar Games and Take-Two, and we think they're extraordinarily a talented team, and working forward to them becoming a part of the Rockstar Games, and beyond that, we're more, there will be more announcements in the due time, so that also made people wonder if the new announcements are going to be a GTA trilogy that Ruffian team is working with the Rockstar Games. And then back in 2021, the start of summer on May 18th, Rockstar teases surprises for the 20th anniversary of GTA 3, and basically they actually said this on their newswire back in May. They said, plus in honor of the upcoming 20th anniversary of the genre's defining of Auto 3, we'll have even more fun surprises to share, including some specifically for GTA Online players. Again, we didn't know what those, you know, teases are going to be. We probably thought there were going to be some kind of maybe money bonus or free t-shirts. Uh, if you log in a certain time, you'll be getting this and this. But again, we didn't know what they were going to be. We just know they were going to be in GTA Online or in the Red Dead Redemption Online thing. But that was just started to get, you know, the speculation for the Jill... GTA Trilogy if we would actually see an announcement when when the 20th anniversary is going to be coming up and that is actually going to be coming up probably in a month or two from now and then in 2019 back in May 19th Take 2 Interactive mentioned six new internal previous release titles in physical 2020 and basically as you can see in physical 2022 they have Immerse Core titles with four, with two sports simulation, two from new franchises, all from purchase. They had Independent 1, they had Mobile 10, and then in new terms of previous release titles, they had six. And that's basically the, you know, business side of these titles are like remastered or remake titles. And that made people wonder, could one of these six games be the GTA trilogy but no one really know it was just a hint and then back just this month in 2021 on August 2nd take two lists three unannounced titles for quarter one physical 2022 results and here's what they had they had of the six titles they broke it down in a pipeline uh, from what we just talked about and basically what we're getting, Grand Theft Auto 5 Expanded Enhanced for Gen for 9 consoles for Rockstar Games. We're getting the G Grand Theft Auto Online standalone from Rockstar Games. We're also getting a Kerbal Space Program for uh, 9 consoles, a private di division. And then three announced titles. And that would fit perfectly with the Take-Two Interactive Pipeline that it would be Grand Theft Auto 3. Grand Theft Auto Vice City, and Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. So, wow, that is probably going to be the three announced titles that Rockstar is, you know, cannot say until Rockstar Games, you know, comes out to say uh, when this game is going to be coming out. And also on August 2nd, someone noticed in the Take-Two Interactive call that... Take two said there was going to be a spike in the net Renovue project. And as you look from the physical year ending it from March 31st, 2018, to physical year ending on March 31st, 2022, basically the net Renovue is expected to range from 3.14 to 3.24 billion dollars. And that would make as people will be buying this GTA trilogy game. And Take Two Interactive expected to make a lot of money from this new project. And here's like a graph of how the net revenue is going to be coming. What I just said from 2018 to 2022, and how it's going to you know skyrocket high. And then basically, what we just got a couple days ago is the Kotaku 
article from Zach Zwinick from three sources. Basically, we covered all that information in a previous video late yesterday. Again, I will leave that video in the link down in the description down below if you want to see what that Kotatu article was all about. But basically, in just a nutshell, is that there's three sources and this game is likely and confirmed to be coming out in the fall month of 2021 either october or november it's actually going to be coming for on for a lot of systems including pc and nintendo switch which is pretty cool i didn't think gta 5 would you know come out on the switch like that so again this is all the information that we know from day one since people you know were speculizing the gta trilogy again i will leave a link down in the description down below of this all this information that i got for today's video from this gta trilogy subreddit reddit post uh from outlaw uh, again, he's on the GTA Red page. So again, guys, if you did enjoy today's video, a like rating would be super awesome. Remember to subscribe to the GTA Popstar channel for more videos like this. Again, my name is Puppy, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.